Now, Saudi Arabia has launched fresh airstrikes on Yemen despite the ongoing UN brokered peace talks aimed at ending the conflict. The latest bombardments have targeted Maslub district in Jaff province. In continuation of the violation of the ceasefire, Saudi jets also pounded a base in Amran province more than 30 times last night. Riyadh has been striking Yemen despite the ongoing talks in Kuwait between representatives of the Saudi-backed former regime and a delegation comprising of Ansarullah and its allies. On Thursday, the UN envoy Ullah Sheikh Ahmed said that hope is emanating from the talks as the warring parties have started discussing details of a comprehensive agreement. The Ansarullah movement and its allies have repeatedly called for a halt to the Saudi airstrikes, which have claimed more than 9,400 lives since March 2014. Let's talk to Press TV's Mohammed Atab, our correspondent in Sana'a. Mohammed, how routinely does Saudi Arabia violate these peace talks, these, the, the situation going on there? Yes, uh, Saudi warplanes continued uh, as usual, uh, violating the ceasefire agreement, which has been taken, in, uh, taken into effect uh, on uh, the last ma march uh, before the uh, resumption of talks in Al Kuwait. Uh, in, a, in a bit to, to uh, allow and pave the way for the uh, Yemeni political factions to resolve their differences. But so far, this kind of uh, escalations in, uh, these, these in, the, in the last uh, 24 hours uh, has been uh, evaluated by the experts. They described uh, such uh, airstrikes as uh, unprecedented, particularly in, 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 in specific places, as you mentioned, in the military camp in Amran, which is called uh, Al Amalika military camp which is known uh, by uh, for all people that it's uh, it hasn't allied itself to any party this is uh, one of the uh, military camps that is ha has uh, proved itself that it's it will pr pr prevent or protect the areas the surrounding areas of the military camp but so far this military camp has been uh, uh, targeted and bombarded by the Saudi warplanes as over 30 air raids have uh, have been carried out against this uh, military camp in a bit to what ex observers describe that the Saudi Arabia doesn't uh, doesn't only uh, want to achieve its uh, declared goal of uh, fighting what it claims uh, uh, the uh, Ansar Allah fighters or the uh, the uh, army forces who are uh, facing their uh, mercenaries in different parts of the country but also it's uh, targeting the country's uh, military capabilities uh, to achieve uh, uh, other goals that uh, that are not for the Saudi Arabia itself but for other uh, enemies of Yemen so far also the they have waged uh, air raids in Marib and in El Jov in a bit to support their military mercenaries uh, in these parts of the uh, the country but so far the uh, Yemeni army backed by the popular committees have defeated uh, the uh, the uh, the mercenaries uh, and the, as they have also inflicted heavy casualties on them uh, the, 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 I spoke to the uh, military spokesperson of, of the Yemeni army about this uh, ongoing escalation. He described that the, the, well, what is going on is the, that the Saudi Arabia is trying to achieve any goal in the ground before the end of the, uh, the talks as uh, the, they have failed in previous occasions. I told him, uh, do you expect that the Saudi Arabia can achieve anything? He said, no, they, they, they haven't achieved in the previous times because they have waged uh, even more fierce uh, uh, air raids and also bombardment from, from the sea and also from the from the air but so far they haven't achieved anything as as long as the Yemeni people are united with the Yemeni army right. and that the, the, the he, uh, he, uh, he advised the Saudi Arabia to allow the Yemeni political factions resolve their differences uh, otherwise that the, uh, the the Yemeni army has prepared itself to wage uh, uh, an, uh, an extraordinary uh, attacks against Saudi Arabia in case the, uh, the talks in Kuwait failed. And of course, uh, Mohammed, uh, just tell us more about the situation on the ground. I mean, how are people dealing with the daily attacks? How are hospitals coping with providing medical care? Yes, the, regarding the humanitarian situation, Yemeni people are, fa are facing an uh, unprecedented humanitarian situation. Uh, as you mentioned, the, uh, the hospitals, uh, many hospitals have closed down before the patients because of the, the they lack the uh, the necessary medicines. They lack also the uh, the fuel to operate the machines. The, uh, the, the this kind of situation is also uh, is bothering many Yemenis, particularly as you if you can mention that the the uh, the 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 high the high 
prices of uh, fuel because of the blockade and also the high price of food and uh, and food supply the uh, Yemenis are, are, have faced the the unprecedented humanitarian crisis as uh, even though that the United Nations envoy to to Yemen has uh, described that the Yemeni people need uh, economic assistance or, or financial assistance regarding the to into uh, taking into consideration the the Saudi uh, over one year uh, long blockade that has also uh, devastated the the country now the uh, the the currency of the US dollar uh, it has increased against the uh, Yemeni uh, real this has also led to the uh, to the, uh, the the increase of poverty uh, Yemeni people are now uh, with the advent of the uh, uh, the holy month of Ramadan uh, couldn't afford or, or bring food to, to some, many people couldn't afford to bring food to their tables but uh, but Yemenis are, sh are showing so resilience before the the Saudi invasion and they are they are determined to continue their uh, struggle against the what they describe the Saudi invasion and also to put an end to right. its uh, dictation to Yemen and also domination all right press is Mohammed up top giving us the latest there from Sana thanks to Mohammed